How's it going, Vandals? I'm Johnny, and welcome back to Graphic Vandalism. Yep, it's new video time. This one is no fairy tale. Hey, look at five of the most fun, jaw-dropping, and exciting action fantasy comics I've personally read. Earlier this week, I was talking with a friend about this topic, so I decided it'd be fun to make a video and let you all be in on these just spectacular books. So with that, Vandals, let's just get into it. All right, first up is Smacks, written by the one, the only, the great madman himself, Alan Moore, with fun, exciting art by Xander Cannon, published by Moore's own America's Best Comics imprint. And I'm really starting this video off with a fun one, as this book is a crazy cool spin-off of my favorite book Moore ever wrote, Top 10. In this one, Toy Box gets invited by her hardcore to the bone partner, Officer Smacks, to take a trip back to his homeland. As Smacks is a pseudo mythological dragon slaying fantasy hero, this is a quirky and surreal trip for poor Robin as she has to see her usually tough as nails partner go through this whole hero returning home spiel. Well, long story short, while they're there, they must embark on a quest. And through this, the two cops who had learned to become partners become true friends. <laughs> And it's just a total blast. This is by far the most fun book Moore has ever written. And it's just jam-packed full of fantasy and folklore references. I get the feeling Moore had a total blast writing this. And I really can't recommend it highly enough. Okay then, next up is The Old Guard. Methodically written by the Albies on Point Greg Rucka. With classic old school vertigo looking art that makes me just so nostalgic by Leandro Fernandez. Published by Image Comics. And wow, this book is so magnificent. I'm at a loss for why we never got a second arc for this book, as it just ticks every box perfectly and reads like what we'd expect if Tom Clancy ever wrote The Highlander about an elite tactical response team made up of immortals. But during one of their recent jobs, their secret gets out and they have to fight like their lives are actually on the line to make sure no one else finds out about them. Rucka writes the hell out of this story and these characters doing what he does best and the art oh my goodness fernandez's art just sings so yeah this book is an utter must read yo cool cool how about now we take a look at sparrowhawk written with full-on punk rock attitude by delilah s dawson with just lovely action-packed art by Mateus balsa published by boom studio and i just have to straight up admit this is one of my favorite comics of 2019 ever since seeing the first issue this book has just just had me hooked and for good reason this comic hits hard hits fast and is winding up again before you even knew what hit you as we take a trip into a dark haunting and violent fantasy world with Artemisa a determined young woman who has to make it back to the real world to save her sister but the only way back is with magical power and the only way to get that power is to fight so Artemisa takes on the biggest nastiest foes this land has to offer and damn the ending of this book is just so messed up. I loved it so much. All I can say is if you haven't checked out Sparrowhawk yet, yeah, really need to get on that and soon, yo. Super sweet. How about now we hop on over to Deep Roots, written by Dan Waters, who is really becoming one of my favorite names in comics, with just beautiful, haunting, and moody art by Val Rodriguez, published by Vault Comics. And dang, I really have to say, Vault is just on fire with all the just incredible books they keep putting out like this marvelous folklore injected psychedelic trip all about nature versus technology that is a beautiful look at old things becoming new again as we just get injected to a fantasy laced world overran with bizarre body horror as vegetation has become militant and not messing around trying to take the world back as an ancient balance has been thrown off and must be restored again and maintained and seriously just Wow, I have never read a book like this before with such a profound message on the real. Just go buy and read Deep Roots right now. You really will not regret it, yo. Right on. And last but surely not least, we have Carbon Gray, written by Paul Gardner with just wild, vivid, and unbelievably epic art by Kerry Evans and Hog Nguyen, published by Image Comics. And yeah, this is honestly one of the first books that really got me into Image Comics and helped make me become the fanboy for the label that I am today, as at this time in comics, I had never seen a fantasy comic that looked felt or moved like carbon gray before then i was just so captivated by it as it came with its own mythology and was a terrifying look at a world in perpetual war that only one girl could stop but 
I'm not going to lie, the amazing action set pieces really helped a lot. This comic is just a one of a kind and is such a great breath of fresh air for fantasy comics. I bust out my trades for this and read it at least once a year as I absolutely love the main character Giselle Grey. She's one of my favorite comic characters ever and I seriously cannot recommend this book highly enough. Just read it and soon, yo. Well, there you have it, Vandal's No Fairy Tale. And I really hope you enjoyed it, or at least learned about a few new books from it. I really enjoyed making this one, as I really do love all the books on this list. Please let me know what are some of your favorite action fantasy comics are in the comments down below, because I love recommendations. But for now, until next time, I'm Johnny. This is Graphic Vandalism. Don't stop reading.